To avoid relegation that concentrates our thoughts, no question which was the most crucial game of the day, 19th place Fulham against 18th place Birmingham. At a very tense Craven Cottage was John Motson. Diamanski Camera's reward for his two goals that turned last week's game at Manchester City is a place in the Fulham starting lineup. Only a win will do is the message from the cottagers. And ironically, the Birmingham goalkeeper Mike Taylor spent seven seasons at Fulham, making around 200 appearances and helping him achieve the Premiership status that both clubs could now lose. Well, two worried men on the touchline today Alex McLeish, the manager of Birmingham City. They haven't had an away win since his first game at Tottenham. And on the Fulham bench there, Roy Hodgson and Ray Lewington, they're smiling at the moment, but they know a win is essential. Camera for David Healy is the only Fulham change. A year ago today, number 23, Clint Dempsey, scored the goal which beat Liverpool here and secured Premier League football at the cottage for another year. Can they find a hero today? Birmingham captain Damian Johnson returns in midfield after a three-match ban. Right back Stephen Kelly passed a fitness test to protect his record of being the only outfield player to take part in every minute of Premier League football this season. And Bride Kamara. Dempsey. McBride. Fulham moving quite nicely here. This is Simon Davis. Dempsey near post, Bullard coming in, missed it completely, the run on to Koncheski. McBride! Offside. But was he offside? Well, I think Mike Taylor may have just fingertipped that onto the bar. Well, the gentleman with the white hair there is Peter Chaplin, who's just approaching his 88th birthday. He was actually born in Craven Cottage in 1920, lived there for the first 11 years of his life while his father Alec was captain of Fulham. And Peter has not been back at the ground for 76 years. Now, Davis checked there on the edge of the box before the play went on. And uh, Fulham have a free kick here in a threatening position. Bullard is something of a free kick specialist. McBride is trying to untangle himself from Ridgewell. Bullard plays it shorter. Davis! Oh, what a fine save by Mike Taylor! The free kick was well disguised, but that was a supreme piece of goalkeeping. And it thwarts Fulham. And Simon Davis must have thought that was on its way in. Oh, that's dangerous. It's uh, snapped up by Larson for Birmingham to McFadden. And now Kelly, the right back, made a great run on the far side. James McFadden didn't need him because he's found Larson. Kelly is still there, mind you. Larson's cross, McFadden. Oh, Mikel Forsell, a piece of miscontrol that surely, well, it might... Uh, <laughs> it might plague him a bit, this, because it was a real chance for Birmingham City. They were moving well with four men up and Fussell here, the Fulham defender had slipped but Fussell couldn't get the ball under control. Well, the Fulham owner, Mohamed Al-Fayed, went into the dressing room to speak to the players before the game today. Bullard. Oh, intercepted by Carpo for Birmingham. He's got the two front runners here. McFadden's got in behind Aaron Hughes and Fussell is absolutely... Oh, and Hughes... Well, real good intelligent defending by Aaron Hughes because at one moment he was chasing McFadden but the next minute he'd seen the danger and he prevented Forsell from getting on the end of it. Watch Hughes here, how he crisscrosses, just as enough there. Well, the Fulham fans are doing their very best to bring a feel-good factor to this occasion but behind all that there's so much tension. <laughs> It's away by Muamba, and then by Carpo, and back in by Danny Murphy. Davis. Near post ball, oh and a chance here for Camera. Good block, Joidi fell in front of him. 
Stelteri now. We're in the time being added on for stoppages. Simon Davis. Jo oh, Stelteri on oh, the back heel by Danny Murphy. Oh, didn't quite work, but was he? I don't think he was fouled. Chris Foy doesn't think so. There's going to be a yellow card for Stelteri, I think, for simulation. Near post ball caused a bit of trouble there, and Jaidi, what a good uh, diving, <laughs> desperate block that was by the big centre back. Oh, McBride took one uh, on the side of the head from Jaidi there. It's going to be a free kick to Fulham. Jimmy Bullard, Cheritu without a doubt. McBride coming in! lifeline for Fulham. McBride, who they've missed so badly when he was out of August until January. But this is a, an absolutely typical goal from him. Bullard curls the free kick in. And McBride, oh, look at that, the placement of it. And suddenly there's some optimism around Craven Cottage. Well, there's a real roar going up at the Hammersmith end to the left as Fulham supporters celebrate the goal and the possibility, and that's all it is at this stage for Roy Hodgson, of survival. And this is Camera. Fulham have got players coming up to his right. Good skill from Camera. Oh, brilliant! What's going to happen next? Well, it's from the sublime to the ridiculous, really. He carried this quite beautifully. Camera, maybe on second thoughts, he could have squared it. The big fear for Fuller now, as their fans are only too aware, is that they've conceded a huge number of late goals this season, something which Roy Hodgson will be praying doesn't happen again today. McFadden. Holding on well. Purcell to his left. Still McFadden. Room is opened up here. Ooh, don't get in that sort of space. McFadden. Or he'll make you pay. And Fulham. I'm going to make a change because Camera is injured. And Eric Neverland, the Norwegian, who scored at Reading recently for Fulham, is coming on to replace him. This is Koncheski. Dempsey. Koncheski again, deep cross, too deep for McBride. I think Davis will get it back. He does. Dempsey's header goes over the bar. You really feel that a second goal for Fulham would tie it up now. But if it doesn't come, the anxiety at the other end is going to increase. Well, the Birmingham fans knowing that time is not on their side. Now it's Kelly. Johnson. It's come off Koncheski in front of the Birmingham supporters at corner. Larson will take it. Jaidi comes forward again. Can Fulham hold firm? David Murphy has arrived in the penalty area now. Jaidi! Oh, how did that stay out? Birmingham are racing to the referee, who's given a goal kick. Even Casey Keller isn't sure what happened here, because he wondered whether it was a goal kick or a free kick. Are Birmingham appealing for a corner? Well, what a heart-stopping moment that was for the Fulham supporters anyway, because Jaidi's header, from one angle, would look as though it was going in. Oh, it's Neblin! He's away! Can he settle it for Fulham? Eric Neblin has scored! It's 2-0! And Fulham smells the rival in the Premier League! And Birmingham looked down and out! Well, this happened so quickly after an incident at the other end, I don't think Jaidi got his uh, sights back at all and Nevlin ran on and slotted that past Mike Taylor Nevlin who as Roy Hodgson was saying to me before the game is sometimes better coming on as a substitute than he is starting well I tell you what he's proved it here and Fulham have got a 2-0 lead well I have to say on their second half performance Birmingham don't really deserve better than this 
Oh, it's been won back again. David Healy here can just play it to his left. It's Simon Davis back again to Healy. And Nate Taylor makes the save, but it's 49 minutes on the clock. And surely Chris Foy will be blowing any second here. Fulham with the 2-0 lead and real hope, real hope for Fulham. They will go to Portsmouth on the last day of the season, presumably with their survival prospects still intact. Well, what a day for the Cottagers and their fans, but goodness me, weren't Birmingham poor. It's Fulham 2, Birmingham City 0. It was the game we had to win. And we did it, and we did it, I think, with some style in front of our own crowd, so that's, you know, very, very encouraging. But, of course, you know, we're getting such a great reception from the crowd, and have been magnificent all season, that, you know, they would, it was just, they were sort of assuming that we, we don't have any further problems, but that isn't the case, we do. The players are giving me everything. You know, uh, we just um, yeah, didn't quite get the, the finishing touches. I think we had a couple of decent opportunities in the first half and they were unable to capitalise. A great free kick, uh, great ball in for Jimmy and it's one of those that you know goes over three or four heads where you think okay he, he could have it, he could have it and you just got to keep concentrating um, and uh, just came through. But you've got a smile on your face. Yeah absolutely it's a great feeling to score and uh, in, in a game like this one of the biggest I've ever been in so uh, it's, uh, it's a great feeling. How big a challenge is it for you now? Well, it's, a, it's a, a challenge, an opportunity. You know, do I see it as a threat? No, I see it as an opportunity. Mm, for McLeish, it's uh, squeaky brum time, but um, for Fulham, they've given themselves a, a genuine chance of survival. Given themselves great a great escape, chance. Possibly. No one would have thought that a couple of weeks ago, but you've got to give them credit. Um, they played okay today. They didn't have to play that well, to be honest, because Birmingham were, were so poor, but there was only one team uh, going to win that game. Fulham were the one that were creating the chances and going to score goals, but um, defensively, Birmingham were poor, and going forward, they, they didn't have anything. They didn't have any uh, efforts on target whatsoever. Um, and this is this is what I can pull out of what, what they did have. They were so sloppy when they got into decent positions. Larson into four cell should take a touch there, one touch and turn and, and, and put it in. No great movement here from McFadden to be fair, they leave him with the option to shoot, should hit the target. Murphy into Zerati and this sums them up going forward here. Just sloppy, nothing there, careless and clumsy and if they were still there now Birmingham they still wouldn't have scored. Yeah, credit to Fulham, they've really turned their season around, it's no, extraordinary. You've got to give them credit and, and they were very very dangerous from, um, from set pieces. Um, Birmingham couldn't couldn't handle them. Um, could have scored more than more than they did. What what we've got here is is that the shaded area we're going to put up here. That's where the players want to run into for the decoy for Simon Davis to run into this space here, there, and it works a treat for uh, for Fulham. It really does, and it's a fantastic save from uh, from Mike Taylor. Another free kick in from Bullard into McBride, but. If you're saying, who's their main threat, Fulham? Who's going to head the ball? It's McBride. Shall we get Mark tight to him? Yes, but no one's within two or three yards of him. They give him a free header and get punished. And this for defending from Quadru. I don't know what he's doing. He's got a free header. I don't know what he's doing. Into Neverland. On a plate for him. Good finish. And a great day for Fulham. And what a chance they've given themselves. Yeah. Absolutely great escape. I mean, when you consider where they were when Hodgson took over, what a job he's done. Yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah, great finale to the season. And who knows? Uh, well, that win for Fulham meant that.